Okay, so we move into the next VAT question, and I've chosen a VAT return. Why? Because this is one of the three main areas that's going to feature in your exam in relation to VAT. We know they are VAT registration, stroke deregistration, secondly, VAT returns, and thirdly, VAT schemes. So in this particular one, not quite exam standard for me, but still a good little question to do. The requirement, just calculate the VAT payable or repayable for this quarter based on the scenario above. Now, the scenario, although not overly complex, it does have a couple of curveballs. Be careful. First paragraph here just references purchases or inputs. Talks about purchases of books and indeed stationery and some other standard rate expenses. Now, what we need to be careful about here is that books are zero rated. There's no VAT either in terms of input or indeed output where you're selling them. But the other two, note, including VAT, watch for these references to including or excluding. As I've said elsewhere within the course, this catches students out. They gloss over the question and don't account properly. These clearly are gross, 120%. Next paragraph here mentions the car. Remember that cars and VAT go together you're going to get tested on the VAT rules in relation to cars. And in this particular case, we know that this individual has included yeah, 300 pounds worth of expenses on petrol in this area of 846. That must mean that a scale charge is in play in relation to his use of private fuel. Okay, more of that in a moment. Outside of that, the second part of the second paragraph references the whole area of output back. Remember, as I've said, books yeah, are zero rated, as they say below. Therefore, that irrelevant. Okay, The stationary standard. Okay, So we know that these stationary areas, you know, we need to account for that, but not in relation to books. Okay, In terms of the final paragraph, Thankfully, you know, if this is in play, i.e. if there is a sale value or output that is zero rated, the examiner has to tell you. So don't worry about that. The second part of it is important because this whole area of scale charges, yeah, can be a little bit confusing for students because really we're talking about a car, so we're talking about input VAT that's been included. What do they do? They ask you to account for this 423 scale charge based on the emissions of his car but how do you account for it in the VAT return it's a little bit odd i'll give you a hint it doesn't hit the input side the purchaser side it hits the output side that's what makes it odd so there's the scenario how do we approach a vat question well it's output VAT less input VAT. so let's set up the answer exactly in that way and we'll see not overly complex apart from the couple of curveballs that I mentioned. So first things first, yeah, on the stationary, it was exclusive. Therefore, we must add on or calculate 20% on top. That gives us the 7-8 for the three months. Now, here's the rub on the private fuel. The scale charge yeah, is, in effect, gross. So we have to impute the VAT, but no, we're including it in the output VAT side. We're increasing output VAT, in effect, penalizing him for having included some input VAT on private fuel here. Okay, so watch for that. Don't deduct or add in the scale charge down below. Use it in the output section. It'll be given in the exam. In terms of the input side, not difficult. We know that the figures were inclusive of VAT. Therefore, we must impute, i.e. 1 over 6, same as 20 over 120. In effect, the figures given are 120%. So we must say, well, if they're 120%, the input VAT is 20% of that. So we therefore, we impute. There's the two numbers. And indeed, the difference between the two comes out at the amount payable, 6007. So really, in summary here, what I would point out to a student who's sort of trying to get to grips with that, I'd say, first of all, inclusive v exclusive. Watch for those words. Secondly, watch for cars, certainly in relation to scale charges. Um, and just practice, practice, practice. Okay? 
I hope that made sense, and uh, thank you for listening to me. I hope your VAT studies are going well. Cheers.